Hello, welcome to another video from Avenue X and looking at Chinese drama in the past week. Before we're going to talk about dramas, I'm just wondering how many people who live in America have experienced firsthand the total eclipse that happened on Monday. Quite epic. I've seen so many videos of the actual blackout when it happens during the day. I personally have witnessed one total moon eclipse. In Winnipeg, and then many years ago in Beijing, actually a solar eclipse. I don't think it's total; it's like partial, but it was quite epic. And there were people putting videos out online when they were on a flight in the sky, witnessing that.、And、that's something that probably only happens once in one person's lifetime. That has nothing to do with Romland. I'm just saying it's quite epic. Now let's go and talk about Romland. First, this week we've had the confirmed news that it is indeed on April the fifteenth that Mango Television is gonna start airing the Ming Guo Espionage Revolution and also case breaking drama Junxing Shan Yao Shi Shooting Stars. Then we have a couple of dramas that are quite interesting all lined up for going live in April. First on ITE April the twentieth, Harbin 一九四四 literally meaning Harbin. 1944 English title in the name of the brother, another Ming Guo espionage drama led by Yang Mi and Qing Hao. It's definitely a drama that I look forward to because it's produced by Aichi that usually has a pretty acceptable, let's say, quality. And obviously, I am very, very curious to see how the dynamic between Yang Mi and Qing Hao is going to play out. It's kind of proven again that things just happen in cluster. We've had War of Faith just finishing airing. We're heading into Shooting Star, which is another Ming Guo espionage drama. A couple of days later, we're gonna get this one, another Ming Guo espionage drama. I don't know if that has used up all the quota of 2024 for Ming Guo setting espionage dramas and overfeeding from end of March to early May. Then two days after that, on April the twenty second, finally Tencent is gonna release the romantic contemporary drama that I've been. Talking for a long time, 春色寄情人 There's a lover in my hometown. New romantic contemporary drama led by Li Xian and Zhou Yutong. So, for anyone who's interested in these two people pairing or these two actors individually in the romantic contemporary drama, let's pray it's gonna turn out to be an interesting enough drama. And then a couple of days after that, towards the end of the month on the twentieth, on Youku, there should be a court-focused drama going live. 执行法官 English title is. Enforcement Department, and it's led by Yang Zishan and Luo Jin, focused on actually getting the sentences and the judgment of the court carried out in reality. So these are the dramas that have a clear date right now. It's likely that any new dramas can announce their date any time. So by no means that we are only gonna get these three, four new dramas for the rest of this month. Then let's move on to talk about dramas that are at different stages of production. The first one actually wrapped last week, not this week, but I somehow missed it or forgot to put it into my last week's video. The drama is finished. They've released their official wrapping up video and another contemporary drama that, when it airs, whenever that is, I will definitely check out. It is a thirty episodes ten cent contemporary drama called Lu Jing Filter. You probably have heard about it if you follow the two leads news, Tan Jianci and Li Landi. They've actually wrapped it. Around the beginning of this month, a romantic fantasy urban legend type of drama. It is to do with a female lead who can constantly change her appearance, and the male lead is a doctor who has a problem with his eyes and sight. So he's constantly losing his sight, but then he's also entangled into this weird thing with this girl, and it's like urban but fantastical. Based on the released material, at least the two leads have a a little bit different type of look. In the drama, styling-wise, compared to their previous characters in contemporary dramas, so even just for the visual aspect of this drama, I'll definitely check it out when it happens. The other drama is a Youku drama that has wrapped this week, and it has been shooting for a while. I've talked about it when they started shooting. That is the fantasy idol pair drama Xianxia called Xian Yu, led by Chen Feiyu and Wang Yinglu. Upon wrapping, they've released a trailer that shows you. Certain action sequences, working on set footages, stuff that hasn't been post-production, so it's all green screen. But you can at least get an idea about what type of drama it is and what people look like. Everything looks very typical. Yu Ku Xianxia hairstyle, makeup, it just vibes the familiar things. If you watch a lot of Chinese fantasy dramas, at least in this special feature video, the two leads are using their own voice. They're not dubbed. 
as for whether the chemistry between these two are gonna work out. Let's wait and see. And apparently the world definitely needs more Chinese idol pair dramas. So we have a new drama started shooting this week. It's called Lin Jiang Xian. Don't worry about its English title. It doesn't have one yet. And it's led by Bai Lu and Zeng Shunxi pair drama. It's a Yuzhong production. So you kind of already can expect certain style and drama. Even if there's no drama, the producer is gonna create drama. That's his MO. With Yu Zheng's own social media post, apparently this period drama that's led by Bai Lu and Zeng Shunxi, the first third is gonna look like Goblin. The middle third is gonna look like Glory. Can you just find other comparison? Why are you just like fixated on Korean drama land? And last time we heard a Chinese drama maker says that it's better than Goblin. You know what happened? I'm just waiting for a big laughing stock drama coming out. Whenever that happens, like next year or whatever. And let's see if it's actually Goblin plus Glory. <laughs> I'd rather go and watch the Queen of Tears that's going on right now in Korean drama. And it's a lot more exciting than this. I know I sound super sarcastic, but I can't keep a straight face. You know, when I hear <laughs> this type of like, we're better than Goblin, we're better than Glory, we're better than like whatever popular Korean dramas. That's usually not gonna pan out well in Chinese drama. It's just based on experiences so moving on to the next one there is a drama that is likely to start shooting next month may not yet and it's led by chen feiyu again that's why i'm mentioning it in this video because he just finished the xian yu period drama and now next month he's shooting a contemporary drama with zhuang dafei and this time it is called chi fan pao bu he lian ai it literally means eat wrong and love well, if you can eat well and do exercises and then have a good relationship, I guess like that that's good life, right? The drama is about a young couple who are like university sweetheart and upon graduation something happened, misunderstandings, and they broke up and 10 years later they meet again. So very classic plot line and character setup of people who used to be together, broke up and then coming back together. I don't know, like these days we have so many stories like that, 10 years later, 10 years later, 10 years later. In reality, you know, 10 years later, you just never meet that person again. <laughs> Personally, I have like 20 years later and we never meet then. It's like totally irrelevant people now. Then we have an ITE drama that has just gotten its license during this week. The period detective drama, 40 episodes, led by Luo Yunxi and Song Yi, Yan Xinji. English title, Follow Your Heart. Who translated that? For a period drama to be called Follow Your Heart is really, really weird. Aichi is likely to put this period drama out in May, so you may be able to see it very soon. And then the last piece of news would be this year's 2024 Shanghai TV Festival, which would also include the Bai Yulan White Magnolia Television Award, has been announced. The ceremony will be held on June the 28th. In Shanghai and then the list nomination is gonna happen in May. Also there's this tiny thing that I noticed. Basically it's the second season of Under the Skin. It's being shot right now. Paparazzi leaked certain shots of characters like doing things that can look a bit weird and then it gets posted on social media and immediately the production sends out official announcement saying they are very not happy with people leaking stuff they're shooting online and hope that people can be rational and don't do that this i just have a really really worrying kind of feeling about the second season of under the skin for all the drama that has gone through during the preparation of the second season, the original script writing team coming out officially saying they're not attached to it. And then while they're shooting, you know, usually when paparazzi go around and take photos of actor working, you don't see the drama actually put out like legal paper announcing on their official account with their stamps. It's a bit weird. The whole atmosphere and the attitude of the production. I haven't seen other dramas doing it in this way. And that just makes me really worried. I'd rather this drama just stops at season one. If the season two is gonna potentially actually destroy what I've done in season one, then I'd rather the story of Shen Yi and Du Cheng stop there and just be perfect in my memory. And not having a second season that just messes up everything they've built up in the first season, that would be tragic for the two characters and also for the two actors. Yeah, I shouldn't get so attached to fictional characters. They're not real, but I really sometimes dream about them. Even till today, it's been how many years? two, three. And both actors have done other things after that drama. It's not like they haven't worked in other things and it's not like I don't like their other things, but yeah, that couple really worked on me. So <sighs> please, please, let's just... Sorry about the rambling. Thank you for watching Omnimax. Please take care. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy.
And may the CPs you've ever shipped never collapse. I'm just saying.